energy storage industry undergoes significant growth. Lithium ion battery technology permeates all elements of society. Population growth, urbanization, and a greener economic investment strategy continue to drive an increase in renewable energy demands. The cost of large-scale effective ESS has come down considerably, creating viable competition for carbon-based power generation. It's estimated that over 20 billion batteries are currently in operation today. These lithium systems combine great reliability and versatility for today's complex industry needs. Batteries can be deployed as part of an integrated array with dozens or even thousands of cells that harness enormous amounts of power. Though the risk of fire and thermal runaway is still relatively small, it remains statistically relevant. These recent industry incidents demonstrate the need for fire suppression. A fire at an ESS facility at an Arizona public service installation. A fire started by batteries at a solar power plant in Seoul, South Korea. A Tesla Megapack fire in Victoria, Australia. And a battery recall for residential solar systems due to fire risk. StatX is a global leader in fire suppression solutions that protect enclosed special hazards, including 20-foot and 40-foot containers, individual cube-style modular cabinets, or entire building systems. StatX offers a simple, condensed aerosol fire suppression system that includes multi-zone smoke detectors, both audible and visual notifications, a suppression panel, and the StatX generators. At FireAway, Product testing is a top priority. All testing meets and exceeds industry standards. There are two standards that are relevant to energy storage applications in testing. NFPA 855, which establishes criteria for minimizing hazards associated with ESS. UL 9540A, a test method for evaluating thermal runaway fire propagation in battery energy storage systems. FireAway developed a test plan that involved building an enclosure specially configured to test and address fire hazards in ESS systems, while providing customers an industry-compliant report so they can deploy the StatX system with confidence. The test plan was developed with the help of a team of experts from organizations that included PVAL, experts in extended reliability and testing of solar, PV, and storage technology, ESRG, experts in energy storage safety testing. l &H Safety Services, trained field personnel on StatX system design, installation, testing, and commissioning. Intertech, an internationally recognized engineering and test organization. The test plan was approved by all parties and is aligned with requirements in UL 9540A. The test environment consisted of a 2.3 meters wide by 2.5 meters long enclosure with four 500E StatX units, fire releasing signal cable, fire alarm cable. Also included were a Potter fire suppression system releasing panel, horn and strobe notification devices, two photoelectric first and second smoke detectors providing cross zone detection and a manual release pull station. The desired data from the test included temperature measurements throughout the test enclosure at multiple locations, gas concentration measurements of oxygen, carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, hydrogen, and methane, and heat flux measurements. Both infrared and standard video recording were also obtained. The test began with overheating a single lithium ion battery within the center rack. At 40 minutes and 22 seconds after heating began, the first indication of thermal runaway was detected as the battery units emitted hydrogen. At 43 minutes and 22 seconds, light smoke was detected and the first smoke alarm was activated. 44 minutes, 45 seconds, heavy smoke was building within the enclosure and the second smoke alarm was activated. At 45 minutes and 26 seconds, the StatX system was activated and the aerosol was released for 30 seconds, inhibiting propagation of thermal runaway to adjacent battery racks. At 50 minutes and 15 seconds, the enclosure was ventilated and the test was complete. Tracking the temperature of the rear and left target units, it's clear the temperature did not rise once the aerosol was released. Note that the only spike in temperature came as the enclosure was ventilated and oxygen entered the environment. 
This is to be expected when oxygen is added and aerosol density is quickly reduced. Final analysis revealed that during the aerosol hold period, temperatures did not rise significantly, no flames were observed, there was no deflagration event, and there was no thermal runaway propagation to adjacent racks. The UL9540A compliance table indicated no failures and the NRTL report complies with the requirement for large-scale testing per NFPA 855 Section 4.1.5. These test results confirm the effectiveness of the properly designed and installed STATX condensed aerosol systems in mitigating thermal runaway propagation for ESS installations. Customers today and in the future rest easy knowing they have world-class protection for their ESS investment. For complete details of the STATX enclosure test, including criteria and the entire testing team, review the PVEL issued report.